Hey everybody, James here at Counterplace. I thought it was time to do a video on how to set up my controllers. So, dual control, the left controller is always the top plate. The right controller is always the bottom plate. This never changes throughout the OG plates, the OG cages, or the new 10x3 cages. It's always top, bottom. Okay, so let's turn them on. So when you first get this, you probably see something like this, with the bottom numbers are zero and the top number is, well, whatever the top number is. The top number is the current temperature of the plates. Now this is a bit higher because I've been fooling around with this, and uh, so that's why that is. The bottom number is um, the temperature you desire. It's always in Celsius. So let's get going. Let's do the bottom one first. So to get into changing the temperature, what you do is you press the up button. You have an up button, a down button, a left button, and a set button, and an out. And above the out, you will see a little red light flashing once we get going. So here's how you do this. Press your up button once. You'll see a flashing green cursor in the bottom right corner. Uh, so press up again, and you will see this going up in one-tenth of a degree at a time. Set this number back to zero. Then press your left arrow button once. You will see that dot jump over one spot. Now you're in the ones. So press up again until you hit the number five and stop. Press your left arrow button again. Now you're in the tens. Press your up button eight times. And that should read 85.0. Press your set button once. That sets your temperature. You will see the letter A is zero and it will quickly go to A60 in this case because it's the extra large cage. You will see a different number for the OG plates and for the OG cages. That number would be 85. But for this purposes, because I'm using the extra large cage, it's 60. So here's what this screen means. So here is the temperature the plates currently are at. This number here, after you press the set button, means you're getting 60% of 500 watts per heater. This letter here means um, it's in automatic mode. It doesn't mean amperage or anything like that. It just means automatic mode. This number here means you're getting 60% of 500 watts per heater. Now with the extra large, that's all you're going to get because I had to dumb me this controller down a little bit because it was too powerful for heat up procedures. So, um, your temperature is set. You can see the flashing light, out light going on and off. That means it's on for 60% of the time and it's off for 40% of the time. So you can press your set button again you can press it again, you can press it again, you can press it again. You can see that you can flash between these two screens once your temperature is set. So this is the temperature I have set it to, and this is the current temperature. So let's do this one. Again, to start out with, you press the left arrow button once. And you see a flashing green light in the bottom right corner. You are in the one-tenth of a degree zone. So, again, if you want to practice, just press your up button, one-tenth of a degree, two-tenths of a degree, three-tenths of a degree, and so on and so forth. Just bring that number back to zero. Now you're at 1.0 degrees. Press your left arrow button once. Now you're in the ones. Bring this number up until you see the number five. Press your left arrow button once. The dot will jump over again to the next slot. You are now in the tens zone. Press your up button until you see the number eight. Press your set button once. You see it flashes to the A screen, 60% power. Press your set button again, and you come back to your temperature screen. So now, myself, I like to leave one here and one here, because, I mean, you know you've set them both to 85. But it's nice to see how this power screen works as well, as opposed to just the temperature screen. Um, again, bottom number is the temperature you desire. Top number is the current temperature of the plates. Okay, guys, that's really about it. I would suggest you give this 15 minutes to um, balance out, and it's ready to use. That's it. Everybody have a great day. And this is Canaplates. Hey everybody, James here at Canaplates. This is a companion video to the one I just did about how to set your controller. Sometimes customers will press the wrong buttons and they'll end up somewhere that they shouldn't be 
and then they start changing numbers there and then the controller stops working. Here's what's going on everybody. So like I said in the previous video, the way to set this temperature is you start with the up button and then you get that flashing green cursor in the bottom right corner and then you just go through your up and down and your left and right until it's at the temperature you want. Then you press set once and it's set. It goes to this screen which I call the power screen. And this letter means automatic mode. This number means how many percent of power it's giving per plate. So for example there 48 means it's giving 48 percent. Now it's giving 17 percent of 500 watts per heater and so on and so forth. Now it's giving zero. So that's what that is. So what people are doing is they are thinking that the set button is the start of the temperature change programming, but it is not. Again, it is the up button that starts you the temperature change. When you press and hold the set button for too long, this is what you see. LOC zero. Now this is lock zero. So what I've done here is I have locked the customers out of the back end of the programming part of this little computer. Um, if this number is not zero, you need to set it back to zero. So for example, if I change it to anything other than zero, well, I'll just change it to six, and then I set that, and then for whatever reason I remember, oh wait, this is how you set the temperature is by pressing this first. So if I press this, you're still going to get the flashing green cursor, but the controller will not work. You can't even move that dot over one spot. It just doesn't work. It doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, it doesn't do anything. And then you press the set button again, and of course it comes back to your power screen. But yeah, it's not working. And people think that they have a broken controller, but they don't. So, but here's how you can fix it. So, if your controller is not working, all you gotta do is press and hold your set button, let go when the screen changes. And if it does not say LOC0, set it to LOC0. And I promise you, your controller will work. Press your button to get into it. You see the flashing green cursor, and now you can change the temperature. You can move the button over. You can change that temperature. You can even flash all the way through it and come back to the beginning and set your temperature. You're good to go. Your controller works, and now you know.